What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have my truck and I want to talk about a little something here in the back seat that some of you may not have and that is a tether on your back seat. That seat comes down, this seat does, but it's a little more tricky and I'm going to show you how to do it and how to make it like the other one. Come with me tonight and find out how. Let's go guys. All right, thanks for coming back today. We have a component from Sportfish, and it is a bracket that is going to go on your back seat. But in order to get this on your back seat, there is something you're gonna have to do in order to do that, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. When you get in the back seat, you're gonna want to fold your center uh, armrest up, <clears throat> and if you notice, See how close the back seat, the back of the seat is to the window? Watch when you push, I'm sorry, that's the seat belt, that's staying fast, but watch the seat. Watch how the seat is actually moving away from the glass. You see how much room now I have between the glass? So what you'll need to do is get you a flashlight of some sort. And I wanna show you guys what you're gonna hit down underneath the seat. Now you see that lever? This is what you have to pull up on in order to get the seat. See how I just took my thumb and I moved that? Now I can take this seat down. But, but in order to get that seat back all the way folding forward, go ahead and pull your, your tether so that your back seat bottom is coming away from the back and now go ahead and pull your back all the way down and you're gonna see your back seat like this now just to recap what we did behind the seat you're pulling up on this lever that's what you're doing maybe push the seat towards the wall just so that there's no uh, you know resistance in in depressing this little button but yeah that's all it takes so what you're gonna do there there were no instructions on this we're gonna kind of figure this out together but you can see we have two bolts two torques here and it for the most part is gonna you know the bolts are gonna go through there and um, yeah I'm thinking this is gonna be kind of go underneath underneath this thing here like like this but let's get some tools and remove this mechanism from the back of the seat all right this is a t30 I'm just using the quarter drive let's get this one out of here before i lose it forever okay so again i have not read any of the instructions um I guess it can't go underneath, so it's obviously going to have to go above this. All right, so I'm just going to undo this rubber band and see what we're working with here. We just got this bracket and like this. So how would this sit? I'm thinking kind of like this. You guys see that on that side? It's kind of sliding right in this little groove and you can see that webbing on the metal is actually going to go right there so um, I'm assuming this is going to go on here first so is it actually going to depress itself in there let me take so let me slide that off and let's see if it's just going to sit down in there I would think it would fit in that groove All right, so yeah, you just you slide that over like that, and that little bracket is pretty much gonna not allow this to come off, making a noise, maybe, I don't know. 
but we're just going to set that back down with that foot going in the hole in the seat if I can find it. There we go. Going to reuse the same bolts. Alright, so I got it on and the last thing you're going to do is right through here you're going to pull this nice little tether through the seat. Uh, not through the seat, but through the bracket for uh, that uh, sport fish. And you guys can see with ease, now you can pull your seat. So what I'm going to show you before you put this back up, so when you go to put it up, it's not going to go back, the seat, the seat back is not going to go back to its original location. You have to do the same thing you did before when you removed the seat from the wall is you had the bench up to the back. That is how you're going to have to reinstall it back into the truck. So now the seat doesn't pull forward, but uh, it, like I said, won't, you can't put the seat back to the wall like this this has to be separate from uh, the seat back something real quick and easy I just wanted to show you guys the tether is right here well you got to pull this first and then pull the seat tether and that my friends is how you fold down your rear seat on the driver's side in the back of your 250 350 or 450 pickups and the little baby f-150 tell me guys what you think about this in the comment section below remember to like comment sub share and i'll see you next friday peace